When I was a kid, I loved fudge sickles. You know, I'd go down to the corner store and get a fudge sickle, or my mom would buy a package and have it in the freezer. And on a hot summer day, I would just love to eat one of those fudge sickles. In fact, chocolate is my favorite flavor of all. In fact, chocolate. I consider a vegetable because it comes from a plant so it must be healthy for you. The problem with fudge sickles though is they're full of sugar and dairy and some other nasty ingredients that I do not consume anymore. Uh, so I decided I would make my own after I found these uh, popsicle makers in the dollar store the other day of all places. You can probably find these just about anywhere but uh, is, these are just uh, a little plastic container. So there's enough here to make four popsicles or fudge sickles, um, and you, know, you can see there's a little stick in there. There's even a little straw in there if it, you know if it melts and you wanted to drink it. So um, I'm going to make the healthy version of this today without sugar, without uh, dairy products. It's going to be non-dairy. If you haven't heard about the health hazards of milk, I suggest you just do a little internet research and enlighten yourself. It's been a long time since I've had regular cow's milk. So today I'm going to make mint chocolate banana fudge sickles. It's going to be great. So anyways, I have a little bit of fresh picked mint thanks to Herb Fest. I've got a mint plant growing out back and I just picked a couple of little leaves, not a whole lot, just a little bit. I've got a pretty ripe banana here. That's going to help sweeten it up. It's going to be sweetened with real fruit and also with stevia. I'm going to put a couple packs of stevia in there just to make it nice and sweet. I've got cocoa powder here and uh, this is the healthy version. And right here I've got some cashew milk. You can also use almond milk. Uh, I've also have been avoiding soy pretty much lately. You can do some little research on the health hazards of soy if you happen to think that might be a health food for some reason. Anyhow, I'm going to put all this together. I'm not really going to measure anything because I actually want to make a little extra and I'll have some chocolate milk left over. So I'm going to put uh, this whole banana, few sprigs of mint, a couple uh, spoons full of the uh, powdered cocoa, two packets of stevia, and some of this into the Nutribullet, and I'll blend it up here in just a second. All right, so there it all is in the Nutribullet, the ingredients thrown in there. And then blend it up. All right, so there it is all blended up in the Nutribullet, looking all chocolatey and good. And I just did a little taste sample of that just to make sure I've got the sweetness and the flavor correct. You can always add more stevia or banana or some other kind of sweetener. All right, so now I'm just going to pour it into my popsicle mold here. Not quite to the top because we know the things expand when they freeze. So there we go. One, two, three, four. And I've got a little bit left over for some chocolate milk, which will be tasty. And I'll put the caps on. And this will be ready to put into the freezer. And then I just have to wait for it to freeze up. And it'll be ready for some delicious fudge sickles. All right, and there it is going into the freezer. All right, so check it out. These have frozen overnight, and they are ready to enjoy. All right, so there it is, the finished product, mint chocolate banana fudge sickle. Made with cashew milk, cocoa powder, stevia, and a banana, and a few fresh mint leaves. Jeff Yenser, VibrantHealthVideos.com. Thanks for watching.